And we're back with Tell Me Why, where this time we are following Mr. Sam. Who has brought us some food and a recipe and will help us get electricity. And I'm actually thinking about going different places first. To see if so, there's something we can pick uh, up or... school. I graduated all that. Outdoor studies. Huh? Didn't know they taught that stuff in schools. No. It's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Did you? So what's wrong with the fuse box? What happened to the fuse box? Oh, I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. Sorry, it back on yeah, the spot. Yeah, fingers nothing. Just the way your mom would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Don't want to ask? Nah, just open the door. <sighs> just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, Come son, on, let him help, try. man. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, that worked well. Why didn't you let him do it, man? He knows what he's doing. Well, at least the door is open now. No, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's easy to fix. Now, Anything else we box. can do? Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Yes, you did. Go on. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Oh god. So, um Let's let's read this first. Mary Ann, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 AMP fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 AMP for the whole house. Sam. Pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. So 120 for the whole house. We have a 15. A twenty, a thirty. Just a bum knee. I wrecked it playing ball. Ball, football, in college, high school. Let's look at this. That's we have main ball range. Ball so one is the dryer, water heater. Two is the kitchen. Three outlet, four lights, five generator, heater, garage six. So the garage is fifteen, right? Fifteen for the garage which is already in. Does he say anything else? We'll have to use 15 for the garage. Amps total up to 120 for a whole house. So we need to place another 15 somewhere. But where a kitchen outlet lights dry water here generator here so we do want the kitchen to function here hold this i want to get a look at the spindle shouldn't we get this what if we before we put it back together I just want to check. Place a 15, that makes 30, that means we have placed 60 and we need 120. You and your gun are always around. Oh, not always. You can't 
fend off a bear with smart ass remarks, you know. We're not getting a gun, Sam. Twenty twenty twenty. Let's try this one. No. 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 The color coding, I totally forgot. That 15 is correct. That one is correct. This one has to be a 20. And this one a red one. There we go. Now it's correct. I totally forgot about the color coding there. But I think now it's correct. Seems good. Ah, oh, we're so brilliant. Very proud of myself. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh... You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... The bear really liked her. I think that's quite obvious. Bye. What was that about? What you can't tell? Go on, man. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry, blueberry. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Yeah, I this don't look very good. Can't really expire. I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Well, technically, I don't know, man. Usually not within a time that you use something, but I don't know if you want to keep something huh, for like 10 years. So. I think this is where she made all our toys. It certainly so looks like crafty. it. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car Ooh, or a tank. It's about as good of a guess as any, I guess. Hey there, little buddy. Oh, God. oh really? Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Oh, well, if you what say are you so. Do with this rack. Take it apart and sell the scrap. Sure. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. How are you? I mean, go ahead. It's all yours. Fred a wreck. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I do sense a story here. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, look, the creepy monster hey, thing. It was not funny. Sure thing, B boy. <laughs> what did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, that's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but. Never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Butterfingers. So what happened here? Come on, it's gonna get infected. I don't want to. 
She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. Which call? What are they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more. I can feel it. I'm gonna check if we forgot something. But fine, we can look at yours. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh, we have to choose again and then little Mr. McPancy here gets mad because we don't believe him. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah. That was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I have no idea, but he has to have some reason. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Oh, come on. Get out. Get out. The thing Get is, out. once again, I think her story makes more sense. Get out of here. You're a goddamn hypocrite. And if you if that Get was the here. day when she attacked him, Get out of here. if you recall, when she wasn't there and grabbed her gun, she looked sad and not angry. So I think we choose the sad version. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Why can't we look at both? All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. Oh, come on, man. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll like, I know I should probably pick his just so oh, our bond is better, but... Us. Fuck the trash. I don't know. Like, we can't just pick his side always if we believe it's wrong, right? It's a tough call. Man, I can't 
can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. <sighs> it's Tina. I, I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Where are we? Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hon, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Uh, Tyler wouldn't like it. We can't do it. It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. It's his decision as well. We can't just make I think that. I just made Tina's shit list. We can't just make that decision by ourselves. So I don't know. Where did he go? I was assuming we'd reach a safe here, and then I would have gone over to the next video, but. I guess this one's gonna be a little bit longer than anticipated. Which is alright. Not in a rush. But yeah, we can't just make that decision by ourselves and say, yeah, let's, let's sell it, let's see someone. Um. Warning, bear encounters are frequent during Salmon Run, May to October. I think we're in October, right? If I remember correctly. Exercise extreme caution along all rivers, local trails, viewpoints and glacier roads. During autumn, bears move to higher elevations to feed on berries and then for winter. Do not feed the bears. Keep all foods properly stowed and contained. Stay alert. Learn to spot fish and game carcasses and scavengers. Make noise while hiking. Bears don't like surprises. Never hike alone. Always carry pepper spray when hiking. In case of encounter, do not run. Stand your ground, wave your arms, talk loudly. Do not climb trees or poles. Bears are extremely efficient climbers. In case of violent attack, fight back vigorously. Well, I don't know if fighting back will result in anything. I wouldn't want to fight a bear. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Well, you know. D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. It does sound fun reaching the summit in an area like here. Anything else we can find before we talk to Mr. Sad? Alright, enough of being upset with him. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. I just don't like how he's always like negatively impacted by us picking our version of a memory if we think that's the correct one. So that shouldn't negatively impact the bond between us. 
Like, we should be above something like that. I understand if I now would have said... Yeah, okay, let's sell the house. Then that negatively impacts the bond between us. Yeah, I understand that, but something like that? Come on, man. We need to pick what we think is right, not just something to make him happy. And I don't know. I think we've explored everything up here. It is a pretty like view. Found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Probably. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that yeah. to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. Well, what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just rolled and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Can I interrupt you, Tyler? We did side with you and not him when we got the decision. So, no reason to freak out. We did side with you. We had the choice in the first chapter and we did side with you. I like with you. Yeah, let's just ignore what, what happened. And Eddie warned me about Yeah, that's not a good idea. It's just going to make him angry. You're going to sulk all day. It's also not a good idea because that also makes him angry. Let's just... Fuck you. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. We shouldn't talk about the sale right now because I think that topic is done. That's a bit picky. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. I'm not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Can I still do it? No. So now we sit here and enjoy the view. Hey, you feeling this? What snow? Oh. Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. I can't turn the camera. Shambles. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. <laughs> we look like little freaks. No one else can play with us? Yeah. We apparently didn't have friends anyway, so. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. 
That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over the summit. Hmm. It's a perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. Maybe it'd be a good way to chill out after we grill Eddie. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over no, the it's summit. It's just the same sentence, okay. It's a perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. Maybe I imagine it's pretty cool to go up there in weather like this, but at the same time, I think the view when it's sunny is just so much better. I can't believe still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool if you go up in, in, in this kind of condition. Just not for how pretty it is, but just the, the general feeling you get. Or maybe it's just me. But I think I'd enjoy it. What's down here? Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reached. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall. With an ice pick. Uh, I know it's not the best trait for a park ranger, but... I'm super freaked out about rock climbing. <laughs> no way. You've never been afraid of heights. Except when I'm dangling from a tiny metal hoop off the side of a mountain, hundreds of feet off the ground. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. It would also not be my thing. We examined this already, right? Oh, there's another Marianne thing to look. was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. Funny how that turned out, huh? To be fair, it is a scary thought. Like, I wouldn't want a rock to fall down there on my head. Probably be the last thing that happened to me. Alright, let's move on. I think we've done everything here. Hey, look what I found. What did you find? Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? I was probably replacing the O with a T. Then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's looking better, but uh, I guess it makes him feel better. Justifiably so. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. 
Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Probably because we picked Tyler yesterday. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee deep in trash for a few. Yeah, okay. We are going to do this next time. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, you can turn that car around. She's going to take care of the business. Yes. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And until next time in the police station. Farewell. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. She started working over at the high school as a librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well.